Hello everybody, welcome back. We've got our Tamiya drinking game part two, which is, what, two years overdue, Matthew? Two years overdue. It's been a while, it's been a wee while. Uh, Mike's it has been, been too busy to work on it, so... Well. Really? Really? Is it, is it my fault, is it? Yeah, it's You might remember... So, I've been, I've been I, hounding them. Aye. Uh, I just recently uh, watched our 2019 Christmas video, and do you know when you said this, Matthew? We'll be back as soon as possible. I don't know when it'll be, but we are going to try and get another episode of building the G601 chassis are getting built this year. Yeah? You yeah, reckon? We'll get them. You reckon yeah. we'll get them built before 2020? Yeah, we've got some time off now. You said, um, oh, I'm perfectly confident for us to get this done before the year 2020. Here we are in the year 2021 and uh, we're just finally getting back to it. So it's what's your excuse? Build. It's quite a big build. Um, I was oh, waiting I... for all the, the grease that we've got in here to um, sort of set properly. Oh yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> um, to, to, as you can see, we're doing this over some sort of Zoom call thing because obviously with the lockdown we can't build them together anymore. So this is this is how it is now. Um, I'm back in the dining room because again my man cave isn't finished yet. Matthew, you're in your dining room because because we're uh, trying to move, so we're doing up the spare bedroom. So I have no longer got a man's a wee man's cave. Oh no. It's just terrible. It's a terrible thing. It's a terrible, terrible thing. So yeah, so this is a strange setup, but you know, we'll make it work. We'll make it work. We have our alcohol, our whiskey for today. We're both drinking this uh, Krabby's Yardhead single yes. malt scotch. Same company that makes the alcohol. You seem to have very much in it. Well, I mean, you seem to have too much in it because we got these ages ago. What have you been doing? I've been drinking my um, McLeod's. Oh, I didn't get any McLeod's. I may need to resort to the Jack Daniels. Yes, well, you, you will. <laughs> Over the segment of this video, you. I hope you're consuming more than that. So, I've got some in my shot glass. I oh, see. That, that. You've, got, you've got a bigger glass. I'm going for shot glass. I'll just need to keep topping it up. Oh, I thought we were just taking it. We're not. I'm not shot in it. It's good small, isn't it? It's small. <laughs> it's a good smell, isn't it? It smells really good. <laughs> yes, it smells good. <laughs> So, today we're going to change it up a little bit, we'll be doing each stage, and then whoever finishes the stage first gets to ask the other person a question, and if, if the question's answered wrongly, that person, the person who was asked, gets to has to take a drink, and if they ask, answer it correct, correctly, the person who asked the question in the first place has to take a drink. Yes, so it's a... Uh, That's a really we'll... poor way to describe it. Yeah, it was quite quite a long one. So basically, it will work like that up until we get to the shock situation because I have to build my shocks and you don't. Yes, so because you should you should take a drink for that anyway. You're such a noob. No, you you should. You're such a noob. You're building yours with. Oh, there's somebody at the door. Hold on. You are building yours with. Um, oh, got a package. Hold on. Yeah. So what Mike was saying is, I am building mine with the standard Tamiya kit. Um, which comes with it. It's just basically you get your spring, you get uh, obviously your moulded shocks in separate parts. Uh, so I basically have to build mine from scratch. And Mike has ordered upgrade parts, which means because it's pre-built. So he will be saving a lot of time there. So I think he should take a drink for that. But uh, whereas I will fall behind on that segment of this build. So yeah, but hopefully, I'm hoping because I do a lot of work with my hands that I will be a wee bit quicker than him but at the same time he has much more um, RC knowledge and experience than me so he might be even quicker than I am. Oh he's back. <laughs> Who are you talking to? I was just explaining that um, because you so rudely left um, was I may have to leave on occasion as well but the shocks I have and the shocks you have Ah, so, and also I have full bearing kit and you're going for bushings because you're a noob. Yes, yes. So, but so I didn't know that until we started to build. You were you sprung that on me. And said, you, if you're oh, building by the way, any Tamiya, you should have ball bearings and not bushings. Yes, but at the same time, when we got these, you kept that quiet. I just assumed we were building it and then, you know, we'll upgrade it as we go, but oh. not straight off the bat. Well, what, you want to take... Take apart this like sixteen gear monster. No, thank you. Be, to be honest, the bushes are fine. They're staying. <laughs> I don't, unless, well, they don't, unless 
Something they don't fails. rust. At least they don't yeah. rust, eh? Yeah. Right, we're on part number 12. We just need to attach the front F3 part. Um, we might as well get started. However, I'm also uh, uh, there is a sort of slight thing advantage I have here, not in terms of speed, but in terms of fitting properly. Um, what sort of screwdriver? <laughs> what sort of screwdrivers are you using, Matthew? Uh, I have uh, a couple of options. Um, basically, it's quite a cool set. I have this thing for my Phillips two bits. Um, I also got this little thing in my. I don't know if you can see that, Mike. This little thing that comes with detachable bits. Yeah, but so, I, but the point is, those are Phillips screws, Phillips screwdrivers. Yes. And Tamiya's don't use Phillips screwdrivers. It's Phillips really? screws. They use Japanese industrial standard, GIS, which are very similar to Phillips, except they have a slightly different profile, which are what these are. So if you own a Japanese car, which you do, you should really have a set of these because the profile is slightly different. So if you <laughs> if you try and make it set into the screw slightly, the Phillips is going to feel a little bit off. Let me just test this out here. Because also these are magnetic. Awesome. That's fine. This will be absolutely fine. Look. Nope. Oh, don't get me wrong. I've built every time I kit I've ever built with the wrong set of screwdrivers, but yeah, never I mean, had the right the, set. The, this Phillips two is very big, but this thing that came with my soldering kit is uh, fits it quite nicely. It might even yeah, but... be from Japan. This soldering kit, so you know, no, there's every chance. I doubt it. It'll be China. <laughs> yes, it might. It was so. Shall we get cracking on with part number 12? Part number, yeah, 12. These, have you noticed that the, the central uh, wishbones are really pain in the bum? They keep getting stuck up like that. Well, when, when this one falls, that falls down behind it and wedges yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, so it's a right pain. Whereas that yeah. one stays up. <laughs> I don't know, it's different per se. Oh, oh good job there, man. Right. M2. So I have consistently built it the same either side, as you can see. Yeah, totally. Um, but um, I've got screws missing all over the place, though. Uh, 3 by 10s and that's F3. Right, one, Yeah, two. so what are you using to chop your burrs, Mike, since you've uh, chopped your uh, snips out? My snips were knackered, so I've used my... Um, I'm going to use my... I've already had a problem, Matthew. Your sharp wit. Yes, um, we need four MA2 screws and I have three of them. You need four? I'm just going to have to open another bag and rob it. I just hope they've got some spares. Yeah, the my Enduro kit didn't have very many spares. Oh, the HBI was awesome. I had It didn't have extras in each bag, it had a full Spares bag and spares parts bag. It was awesome. Sweet. That's really good. Right, I'll use them. Uh, I'm gonna have to do the same because I have no idea. Uh, I'm pretty sure I lost half of them though because I was I was losing them left, right, and centre on the other video. Yeah, we were fairly fairly jolly on the last one. Where's my? We have to open another bag as well. Where are my bespoke burr chopping scissors? Bear in mind, because we were drinking both times while building this thing, um, by the time it comes to the end, the person who has done the best job is the winner. Yes. Which Remember to it... put um, grease behind this, yeah? <laughs> which means the truck which runs the smoothest and quietest is the winner. Yeah. Although I might have a slight disadvantage. Why is that? Um, Jackie decided to empty a bath over my RC bag. <laughs> she didn't and empty a bath. my versus system did get submerged slightly. Yeah, your uh, roof caved in. Yeah, we had a leak uh, a few months ago. Well, I was hoping you were going to agree to those terms because mine's is going to be smoother. And quieter than yours anyway because I'm using full bearing kit and you're not. I know, I know, I'm not agreeing. To, I'm not agreeing to those terms. You should. Tell you what though, 
plastic is quite hard to thread in. It's probably just because it's been sitting forever, Matthew. It's gone brittle with age because this thing's so old and we haven't even built it yet. Uh, it's all your fault. Your fault? My fault. Why is it my fault? <laughs> it's still really greasy from the last time we used it, so it's slipping out my hand. I actually went over mine with a WD-40 um, and cleaned off all the grease shortly, a few days afterwards, because it was such a mess. That's cheesy. You've, um, you've prepped it beforehand. You should take a drink for that. Worth it, totally worth it. Those honestly, those side wish ones are winding me up. <laughs> it keeps it keeps holding it at the wrong angle. Yeah. Is this all supposed to be like flushing things? Because I don't know if it's something to do with the fact that we were drinking, but it's not. Means it's flush. It's not though, is it? It is. Mine isn't flush. Fact, so it's weird. The top bent. ones are it's the top bent. ones are recessed, but the bottom ones are protruding. Yeah, and the, the bigger parts are. It's bent. I don't know if I'll show on the camera, but it's it's actually bent. This one's bent in. Yeah. What, do you, what do you mean? Oh, bent. Mine's uh, actually. Now, now we're on the front arms. Um, oh, there's only one of them. Well, that's fine. That's fine. What's that? What's that? Got my drives here. I thought there was one for the back, and it was sided. No idea. Getting grease all over my hands again. <laughs> um, so we need okay. to need to get these O rings out. We need to. Put them into the out drives. <laughs> it's telling us to put grease on the out drives. No chance. I don't, I don't think we need it. I can't even see into mine because the grease is oozing out. <laughs> right. Um, Do you remember how uh, difficult they were to turn? Yeah. It'll be fine once the grease is heated up. It'll be fine once uh, once the wheels are on it and we can turn it by hand because there's leverage there. So it's going to be, you'll notice we've not put electronics in this, we're going to leave that to last. So we're going to have rolling chassis first of all. What? We're up in electronics now, we've already passed the motor part, haven't we? Oh, right, oh, sorry, I thought you said we were doing a test of, for the rolling chassis. No. That's fine, I'll agree to that. M B 5 Where are the... Um, yeah. Are you putting yeah. the out drives on first? Yeah, what did you do? Well, I thought I thought you were going to jump onto the, the wishbone. No, I don't think it matters much. That's MB5, so what's... No, that's not MB5. What is that? What a weird design this truck is. It is. Like a big frame with just loads of attachments on the side of it. Yeah, it's not really a chassis, is it? It's, yeah, frame is no. a better word. Yeah. Why I already stripped that plastic out? Take a drink, mate. Out. No, I'm. I'm not. I'm not sure I have, but it's just. I'm it assuming. Seem to be tightening. Um, C16 and C17, um, but then surely. 14 and 15 are for the other side. Um, unless there's, I think there's two identical C trees, in which case you use the same numbers for both. Maybe. And there's some sort of, it looks like an anti-roll bar, but it apparently is for holding the whole thing together. It's the hinge pin, but it looks like an anti-roll bar. So how do you keep it in? There must be something to keep it in on the next step or something. Um, you see what I mean? I don't understand that. What? What 
of screws do you use for attaching the the wishbones on? It's the that's what I'm talking about, this anti rollbar thing. Oh so that goes, right, or the M B nine. Yeah. Look how short these wishbones are. They're tiny, it's weird. What a weird design. Maybe the hubs stick out a mile. Uh Betty because the <laughs> that bar was in that bag with all these screws, that's the screws I was made to use. Where is it? Do you know where it is? Is your, is your see your front wishbone? You're hmm. facing a different way to the, the middle one. Yeah. Yeah. Where's this bar thing, Matthew? What what bag's it in? Uh, mine's was in D. That one there. Oh. <laughs> you mean you mean that one? <laughs> <laughs> It's just it's just a sil just a silver bar like that, mate. It's silver. Oh, I found it. Yeah, I found it. Yeah. So that goes. Because this is this is teamwork. Teamwork. Oh yeah. This is this is definitely teamwork. Right. Okay. Um. So what what keeps that in? That's well, it must be in another stage because something's gonna have to. There we go. It's it's through. Please don't tell me it's Eclipse. I don't think it's Eclipse. Have you built? Have you built the f both fronts? What wishbone? Uh, have you built both the front wishbones? Yeah. Why? Are they both the C sixteen and C seventeen? Yeah. Right. Okay. C threes are the top arms. Um, that sort of camber links, but they're non-adjustable. What is? So uh, in the bar. Yeah, is it? Yeah. No, and that just sits like that. So ye hack out. That can't be right. That just screws in. What screws in? The top arm just flaps around on a on a on a thread. It doesn't. It's not captured. It's just screwed into. So it just hangs on the thread. Hey, my dear. Yeah. Yeah. Testing is done. So uh, okay. I believe I I owe you a question. Have you done your uh, outdrives? Yep, they're in. Oh. Damn it. Finished. So, what shall we ask Matthew? I'm gonna pour myself another drink anyway. <laughs> All right, your favourite RC car, yep. as is well documented on this channel, is the Team Associated TC3. Yes. But what's the full title of the TC3? What's its full name? There's another little abbreviation before TC3. What's the name of it? <laughs> TC3? Yeah, before the, the, that. It's not just... It's Team Associated. Something TC three. Is this uh, your favourite RC car, Matthew? It's a, it's not a touring car, no. Um, team associated. Uh, team associated TC three. You don't know, do you? Factory team. Mm -mm. Nah, I don't know. Oh, I mean, it doesn't help that I sold you it second hand and there was no original box or manual or anything. There's no documents right now. No, so. it's called the Team Associated RC10 TC3. Ah. Oh. Take a drink, Matthew. <laughs> oh, I took a drink anyway. Actually, I fancy another one. Yeah, I didn't even finish 13 yet. Well, should I wait for you or should I crack on a 14 and then tell you to drink when I, when I finish 14? <laughs> no, you, you wait. You will wait. There's a lot of, like my centre wishbones have got a lot of movement, like a lot of slob in them. Are you the same? Yeah. Centre wishbones. No, I mean they're solid. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's what they're like. Do they have movement? Can you see, can you see that? No. Yes, that's what mine has, yeah. 
Yeah. They slide forward and backwards. Yeah. Mine will do that. Oh, I can't get that open. Did you put your O rings in? Yeah. Way faster than that one. So my bid for you being slower than me was uh, wrong. It's all, it's all the GIS uh, screwdriver sets. That's all it is. That's not for him. What is it? Rolling. Are you gonna push it in with your with your uh, fi your Phillips <coughs> screwdriver? Oh, I should have been using that bag, eh? No, oh, no, I'll just use the dog bag. It's fine. Dog it's fine. Everything. I was using this bag the whole time, you don't know. There we go, that's in. Um, I suppose it'll be the suspension that keeps that in with the dog, the dog bone pressure. I'm guessing there'll be a there'll be a bumper mount thing that'll cover it. What's that for? <laughs> oh, What's that? Like, we can't, we can't. That's your that's your outdrive. Yeah, the outdrive has got a pin on it. Yeah, it's because one sleeves into the other. Look at the picture. Oh. One one has a pin and one one's hollow. Oh right, I don't even I don't even notice that. Well, you could have put two two right was, sides or something. A, I was about to put. Oh, oh, two left sides. sides. No. They're not. They're yeah. just that's fine because I put it in the right one anyway. So this would help if you read the instructions properly. It would actually. Yeah. Yeah, it would. There we go. <laughs> Plastic <love>. bearings times two. <laughs> Only if you're a noob. Yeah. You've started 14. No, I have not started 14. You're researching 14. <laughs> I'm a scientist, it's my job to research. Right, right. hopefully that's right. Good thing you're I did start 14, eh? You've got your stuff laid out for it, haven't you? No. <laughs> yeah, you have. He's cheating. He's cheating. <laughs> uh oh, I better take a drink. Right. Um, Boba. What are they? The, the, the B. B. Where's the B one? B9. E? That's E. Um. C. What am I looking for? Is this B? C again. Seems to have a lot of C. I know. Because you're a great big C. Oh boy, wait, wait. B9. B9? Or not to be B9. I had to screw that one up, didn't I? B9 or not B9? Oh, B, sweet. B4, B9. Wish I had some snips. What are you What's using? That? Scissors. I showed you. It's B1. B4. Oh yeah. Oh, your shell scissors. Mm-hmm. They're fine though. They were sharp. They were really, really sharp about 15 years ago. Sweet. But... Right. So more than know. that. Oh, wait a minute. I'm going to have to go and find these bearings or the... the bearings. <laughs> that way, that way. No. Hey, get back here. Oi. That way, that way. I'm guessing there's not going to be a. Is that. A, are you meant to put thread there? There's not going to be a whole lot of steering lock. <laughs> are you meant to put thread locker on that? No, it's plastic. Metal on plastic, do you thread lock? It's got the symbol for it. That's, no, that's that's simple for grease. It's grease. Uh, I don't know about grease. I'm not putting dirt to collect. Exactly. I refuse. Lovely bit of uh, play in the uh, uprights. Is there? But the bearings are nice though. Hey. Oh no way. Is that the wrong one? That's the wrong one. <laughs> have you made a mess? Have you made a mess, have you? 
Come on, Matthew, play the game. Play the game. There's um. Have you found the right screws for yours? Yeah. Why? Which 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 screws are you looking for? Oh, I'm looking for the the MB twos. M M MB twos. Which ones are they? They're silver ones. Yeah, big chunky silver ones. So does that mean I'm using the wrong drive shaft then? Why? Because they came they came in the same bag as it. Black ones. Uh, I wouldn't know. My bags are all messed up. I hope I'm not using the wrong drive shaft. Mm, no, I think they're all the same. Are all the drive shafts the same? I think so. Well, they're black and they're like a sort of gunmetal finish. Mine are all gunmetal. These are black. Front wheel axle. Whereabouts? I might be. I might. I might have used the wrong one. No, you should have oh. two. Oh, 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 oh! Wow, wow! But they're identical. They're identical. The black ones are the same as the gunmetal ones. They are absolutely identical. Yeah. Why does? Why did they come in the same bag as the screw? Why well, didn't use those screws? Look. They're unopened. I found another bag with those screws in them. Why is there black ones that are different? Oops. That's weird, eh? Front wheel axle. Hold on. Here's a good way of telling Matthew. Um, MB11 is the code for those. Oops. Uh, let's see. Yeah, the, the black ones are supposed to go in the front, even though they're identical. So you were using because the wrong one? I was using the wrong one, which means I need to take this apart again. But it's the same. It's the same. Do you actually need to take it apart? I'm going to follow the instructions. Damn it. Yeah, because if you look at, look at the... See if you can confirm, because, you know, I might be making a mistake. If you look at the instructions... Um, MB11 is the code for those front wheel axles, yeah? Yeah. And go to the next pages. There's two steps that have axles, and they're both MB4. So which means there's four MB4s and only two MB11s. They weren't in the bag I used. They were in the bag I used. It's fine though. What's, I don't understand Tamir's thinking behind that. They've, they've, they've said, look, you definitely need to use these ones for the fronts. The other two are for the middle and the back. But they're physically identical apart from the colour. I mean, they might be a slightly different material, but why? Are they harder wearing? Yeah, but why would you have harder wearing? Surely it's all the same drive system. Yeah, maybe maybe because the angles that the front one steers to or something, but then it's got four wheel steering options, so you'd expect the back ones to have the same. Yeah. Strange. Very strange. There. We don't have spare because my hands are too greasy for this. You should clean them up. Nah, because then you'll keep filling my head. No, what I mean is you should have you should have pulled it. You should have cleaned it up previously. I don't know what cheat. Oh wait a minute. Work on it when you weren't there. I wasn't working on it. I was cleaning it. You were. You already allocated so, all your stuff. What? So because you clean on something, that means that that counts as working on it, does it? Yep. So Hi, the person Tom. person who works in the car car wash is a mechanic, is he? Exactly. Yeah, that's his job. He's exactly. working on it. So working, therefore working on it. No. If you were having a race between car washers, see who clean the car first. So if he's working, if he's washing a car and other guy's not, he's cheating. He's work. He's working on it. That's not, that's not, that's not, it's, got, it's got nothing to do with what we were talking about. <laughs> anyway, um, okay. Oh, I need to attach. Where are those? Well, I clearly got them from the wrong bag. Whatever they are.
Are these actual? Is that the sizes? Oh, that would be cool if it was. What's that? The pictures of the actual screw in that, if it was the size of it. Yeah, they're all to scale, Matthew. Really? Have you got this far on the kit? In real life? Eh? You just built a new kit. I was just, I was just guessing. <laughs> You built a lunchbox with all the pictures to scale, and you built an enduro with all the pictures to scale, and you well, they weren't to scale on the lunchbox, eh, on yes. the on the enduro. Well, they're not. No, that's what threw me off. That's why I kept building the wrong links. That's crap. Links were the wrong size. That's rubbish. It was. Right. Well, that's that way. That's this way. This one needs to be upside down. Wait a second. How do you? Oh, I see. You use the wrench. What? To put these ball joint things on, you've got to use the wrench because a lot of them have got like a, a cross a hex head at the top. Yes, like this here. Yes. Oops. I am aware. Make sure I'm threading it straight. I know it's difficult for you. <laughs> I'll take a drink. Why? Right, because you want a drink? Yeah. <coughs> good stuff. It is good stuff, eh? I'm really enjoying it. Yes. I still think my, my newest, my favourite, newest favourite whiskey is still Ardmore. The Ardmore. I really like it. It's Ardmore. really affordable and it's really nice. Hey, Mike. Hmm. I'm finished 14. Yeah, no. Yeah, Mike. You've not put the ball joints on it? I have. Ball joint it? Ah, oh, they're not all the way in. They are all the way in. That one's not all the way in. Oh. It's all the way in. That one's all the way in. Yours! I'll take a drink since I've finished that one. Okay, I am also finished. I would have finished in front of you and put the wrong colour in. <laughs> you would have, I. Did, um, did you mind put the bearings in as well? Of course I did. Did you mind put the bearings in? Oh. No, I didn't. I don't have that, considering you can see, you can literally see a gap between the C-hub and the and the, uh, the hub itself, or the C-hub and the knuckle. There's literally a gap above and below. There's actually not that much up and down movement. How much have you got? I, I, I have very little as well. Well, they are. They, they must be cambered. Because by the time you attach that, yeah. Well, that's alright. So, okay. You owe me a question then. Ooh. It's hard but to I ask you. But I had a drink anyway. Like. <laughs> it's hard to ask you because your knowledge in RCs is far more than mine. Oh. Um. um <coughs> ah, whiskey in the lungs. Good for the soul. Let me think. I know it's a bit unfair because I've just built it, but uh -oh. my enduro kit. Mm -hmm. What is the overdrive percentage that's in it? Okay, how many guesses am I allowed, and how close in terms of percentage do I, uh, can it be within 0. 0.5 or one or or what? Well, how Let close? Let me just double check because because you don't know. I, don't, I know <laughs> roughly, but I want to make sure if I give you the percentage that you're allowed the tolerance. Okay. I can tell you that one of the options the overdrive is zero. That counts. So you're allowed maybe within point two percent. Point two, that's harsh. Wow. Point two. Okay. Point well, two percent. Point two. How many guesses? I'll give you three. All right. 
Well, I know the new the new G made has an overdrive of eleven point four, so I'll go for eleven point four. No. Okay. It may have been it's what's in my truck. I know, but I just figured maybe that was industry standards. Obviously not. I'll give you a clue. It's less than that. Less than that. Shit. My next one is going to be fourteen. I mean, oh. ne ne less. Nine nope. point. Damn it. Bear in mind, right? Just as a scenario, this is my first truck. Never had. I've never had overdrive before. So no, I know. just wanted to test it. Yeah, but you don't get to decide what element put in a no truck. So. No, but um, you get two options with overdrives. So you get a lesser one and you get a higher percentage one. Well, both in the box? Yeah. Oh, right. Ah, oh, that changes things. But you've got one guess left. 4%. Nope. Maybe 0.2% no. was a bit uh, a bit strict, but you weren't really close anyway. How much is it? Well, I think it's right, but it's... Um, it is five point something, but this website says it's five point seven percent. Okay, well, how was? But then the next, the next one you get is eleven point eight three percent. Right. Oh well, I lost. I took my drink. Right. Stop sitting up right with your stupid wishbone ship thing. Right. Okay. okay. So we're on fifteen now. Fifteen. Bear in mind, Matthew, before you start, you got these. Yeah? Yeah. The ball joints face downwards. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, you could have just let me do it. I, I, I knew that anyway, but... I wasn't going to let you I do it wrong. This is, this is, a, this is a team <laughs> effort. <laughs> um, what were we on anyway? Um, do I need to attach? Where are those screws? Remember to use your Tamiya grease. Are you actually using the grease? No. I mean, yes. Can't find F. Can't find F. C. I can't find F, as in you can't find F all, or you just can't find F? I can't find F. Just nah, F. just F. Found F. I lost C though. <laughs> I think this is F. F. Did you find F? I haven't looked for F yet. You've not looked for F yet. Which one's F? Is it the Dex thing? Uh, yeah. No, I haven't looked for that. Okay. No. Oh, sh sugar. Dog bones are twisted as well. I think they're all the same. Twisted? What do you mean? Ooh. It must just be manufacturing, but... Um, what? One of the, one of my dog ones is. Well, it's not. Twisted. Was well, it bent? I thought it was um, like offset. It's not. It wouldn't really matter. Oh, I mean, with the pins not exactly at the same point. Yeah. No, it wouldn't matter. It would not matter at all. I thought I made a mistake. You did. You should I double check. Didn't. Right, F, I've got to find that plasticky thing, that blocky thing. F, there's F, F4. Really, that, that thing there keeps it all in check. What thing? I mean, you, you would think it'd take less effort for Tanya to design things like, like a normal manufacturer, a normal truck. I don't know what you're talking about, to be honest, so... Oh, like, they're holding the, that, what looks like an anti-roll bar, but it isn't. I think it holds the front wishbones on. It's like, is it not easier than mounting a sort of X-shaped thing, plate thing with an X? There's an X on it, that's why we're calling it X. Um, I think it'd be easier to just design things like everybody else, normally. Possibly. I'm making a meal of this. Hey, hey. 
Hey, Matthew. Hey, Matthew. Wow. Have you done that already? I've done that already, Matthew. How do you, what do you think about that? It was rapid. It was rapid. Looks no. like you need to take no, a no, drink. No, 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 no. I have time to think of a question for Matthew. I'm feeling extremely sober, Matthew. Do you want to up your game? Do you want me to uh, just take a drink then? I'll have to go and get my Jack Daniels. You keep building. I just need to put in two screws, that's it.